Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Tonight I'm going to do a tutorial on how to get moody tones with your photographs. I'm going to start off with just talking a little bit about blending modes in particular. So blending modes are positioned right here in the layers tab. And I'm just going to demonstrate what some of them do. So I'm just going to pick a solid color to make this happen. And I'm going to choose a pinkish purple color. So probably something like that. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Now when I'm doing moody tones in photographs, I like to get the colors a little bit less saturated and really dark, obviously. So kind of like rich tones, something that's not too out there and bright. Okay, so back to blending modes. So just down here is where they're located. With photos that I want to make a little bit darker and a little bit moodier, I tend to stick to darken, multiply, color burn, linear burn, and dark color, because these ones here, these blending modes, will generally make the adjustments darker for the photograph overall. So whereas lighten, screen, color dodge, linear dodge, and lighter color will make them lighter. I also use a few of these ones here, overlay and soft lighter two that I like to use a lot. And you know, some of these other ones here you can use as well, but generally I tend to use these ones here because it will make it darker. I'm going to choose for this particular adjustment layer, I'm going to choose darken. And also, it's always good to make the opacity a lot lighter because otherwise you don't want something like that just over your photograph. So we're going to make it probably around 15%. So that's just dimmed the photograph down a little bit because we do want it darker. And it's kind of given it a bit of a purplish tint. So then we're going to get curves up. And I'm going to make the overall photograph just a bit darker as well. Okay. Alright, I'm pretty happy with that. And... Then I'm going to get levels and just bring out the highlights a little bit more. Because I do like to have my highlights generally um, a little bit on the brighter side, but not too bright that they're, you know, completely white or too overexposed looking. Okay. And then I'm going to get another solid colour. And I think I'm going to get a blue. I usually like to use blue when I'm doing darker, moodier tones because, yeah, it kind of gives it that effect. So I'm going to just sort of experiment with what some of these are doing at the moment to the image and not anything that I really want to use. So I'm going to choose color actually. I'm going to make it look a little bit less desaturated and give it that blue tinge still. Move it down to around 18%. So that's made it a little bit cooler and just a little bit more desaturated. And then I'm going to get selective color up. And as usual, I generally only work on the whites, neutrals, and blacks, unless I need to work on the other colors. So. Just going to see what some of these are doing to the image at the moment. So I always just like to experiment with selective color a little bit because you can always get different effects with that. So that's really kind of giving it even more of a desaturated look, but just a little bit more defined, I think, with the colouring. And I think I'm going to do another solid colour. I'm going to do kind of like a maroon colour, colour, I think. 
but I'm just going to make that one just a little bit brighter. And I'm going to choose Color Burn for this one because I think it might give it an interesting effect. Make it a little bit darker again. I think I'm just going to alter that color a little bit and make it a little bit more saturated. Just for like a finishing touch. I know I usually said I don't do bright colors, but... Just give it a bit more... Pinkish. Yeah, so I think that works. I'm just going to up the overall brightness of it. So back in curves... Just going to alter this just a little bit. Okay, so I think I'm pretty happy with that overall. I'm just going to take a snapshot and let's see how that has changed the image. So that's the before and that's the after now. So it's really a lot darker and it's a little bit more... It has a little bit more definition. That's the before and that's the after. So that's kind of how I like to get moody tones in my photographs. As I said, I like to stick to certain blending modes and certain colouring uh, just to kind of give it that really dark effect. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and I'm hoping to make some more of these videos soon. So thank you very much for watching again and I'll